Welcome. Nanotechnology. An essence of future. Contents. What we are going to learn today is. What is nanotechnology? What can nanotechnology do? How it works? Applications of nanotech. The impacts of nanotech and pros and cons. What is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is the technology of manipulating materials on an atomic or molecular scale especially to build microscopic devices. It is a field of research and innovation concerned with building things, generally, materials and devices, on the scale of atoms and molecules. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, ten times the diameter of a hydrogen atom. The diameter of a human hair is, on average, 80,000 nanometers. At such scales, the ordinary rules of physics and chemistry no longer apply. For instance, materials characteristics, such as their color, strength, conductivity, and reactivity, can differ substantially between the nanoscale and the macro. Carbon nanotubes are 100 times stronger than steel but 6 times lighter. Nanotechnology, or nanotech, is the use of matter on an atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale for industrial purposes. The earliest, widespread description of nanotechnology referred to the particular technological goal of precisely manipulating atoms and molecules for fabrication of macroscale products, also now referred to as molecular nanotechnology. A more generalized description of nanotechnology was subsequently established by the National Nanotechnology Initiative, which defined nanotechnology as the manipulation of matter with at least one dimension sized from 1 to 100 nanometers. This definition reflects the fact that quantum mechanical effects are important at this quantum realm scale, and so the definition shifted from a particular technological goal to a research category inclusive of all types of research and technologies that deal with the special properties of matter which occur below the given size threshold. It is therefore common to see the plural form nanotechnologies as well as nanoscale technologies to refer to the broad range of research and applications whose common trait is size. Nanotechnology is the use of matter on an atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale for industrial purposes. Nanotechnology is science, engineering, and technology conducted at the nanoscale, which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. Physicist Richard Feynman is the father of nanotechnology. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. 1 n equals 1 10 9. Equals 1 times 10 9. What can nanotechnology do? Nanotechnology is hailed as having the potential to increase the efficiency of energy consumption, help clean the environment, and solve major health problems. It is said to be able to massively increase manufacturing production at significantly reduced costs. Products of nanotechnology will be smaller, cheaper, lighter yet more functional and require less energy and fewer raw materials to manufacture, claim nanotech advocates. Buckminster Fullerene C60, also known as the Buckyball, is a representative member of the carbon structures known as full errands. Members of the full Rene family are a major subject of research falling under the nanotechnology umbrella. How it works Nanotechnologies involve the design, characterization, production, and application of nanoscale structures, devices, and systems that produces structures, devices, and systems with at least one novel-slash-superior characteristic or property. At the core of nanotechnology is the fact that the properties of materials can be different at the nanoscale for two main reasons. First, nanomaterials have a relatively larger surface area when compared to the same mass of material produced in a larger form. This can make materials more chemically reactive, in some cases materials that are inert in their larger form are reactive when produced in their nanoscale form, and affect their strength or electrical properties. Second, 
so-called quantum effects can begin to dominate the behavior of matter at the nanoscale, particularly at the lower end affecting the optical, electrical, and magnetic behavior of materials. In the framework of nanotechnology, the term nano equals refers almost exclusively to particle length. This means that those objects that extend in two dimensions from one to several 100 nm are designated as nanoparticles. This, however, also includes filamentous objects such as nanotubes. Nanoparticles, which have been produced on an industrial scale for quite some time already, are used in a broad spectrum of applications and many products. There are two systems of using nanotechnology. Bottom-up approach. Top-down approach. The bottom-up method is used to make nanodevices and nanomaterials by using the molecular principles and they are chemically condensed. Very tiny parts of a small thing is used to build a bigger thing. A bigger entity of a nanomaterial is created without controlling the atomic shell in top-up method. In this process a bulk of nano device is given by cutting down into tiny pieces. Applications of nanotechnology In the future, nanotechnology could also enable objects to harvest energy from their environment. New nanomaterials and concepts are currently being developed that show potential for producing energy from movement, light, variations in temperature, glucose, and other sources with high conversion efficiency. Nanotechnology is being used in many parts of our daily life. Such as Chemical industry Nanotech is used to prepare titanium dioxide is which is used to prepare sunscreen cream, purifying water, giving a shell of something etc. Nanotech is used widely in chemical industries. Food industry Nanotech is used to create the silver of the packaging of food items, nanomaterials are used to creating tastes of foods. Health fields Nanorobots will be used for the accurate and exact treatment of cancer or any other diseases in future. Creating medicines to be applied into a particular cells. Electronic industry. Forthcoming future nanotech will be widely used in electronic industries that might help reducing electric bills, weight, and size. Nanochips are going to create a revolution in computing technology, nanotech can help expand quantum computers and photonics. Creating fuels. It is used to create fuel cells of hydrogen ion. Renewable energy, more efficient renewable energy source can be created. Sports industry. Using nanotech can increase the efficiency of golf ball or tennis balls etc. Manufacturing computer hardware. Video games console, memory chips. Nanoprocessors can be built with this technology. Refrigerators. Food items can be kept fresh using nanotech. 10% of nanoparticles are mixed with main ingredients of refrigerators. Heavy industry. Nanotechnology is used in airplanes, sewerage, and automotive industries. Impacts of Nanotechnology In June 1999, Richard Smalley, Nobel Laureate in Chemistry, addressed the U.S. House Committee on Science on the Benefits of Nanotechnology. The impact of nanotechnology on the health, wealth, and lives of people, he said, will be at least the equivalent of the combined influences of microelectronics, medical imaging, computer-aided engineering and man-made polymers developed in this century. Advantages Things that are made of nanoparticles, nanotubes are durable, small, light and smart. 
medicines created with nanotech smart drug treat patient more efficiently. Nanotransistor, nanodiode, plasma display etc. are creating revolutionary changes in electronics. Electricity efficient, saves energy. Disadvantages Nanotechnology is expensive. If nanotechnology expands fully then atomic energy may readily available, that can be dangerous for human. New polarization of economics may appear due to the fall of cost of traditional fuel, diamonds, gold, natural gas etc. Nanoparticle is harmful for human body. Thank you so much.